Job's Pond Creel Survey 2012, a biologist report by Judd Kratzer, fisheries biologist with Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department. Ponds with self-sustaining populations of wild brook trout are rare in Vermont. Currently, there are only a handful of ponds in Vermont that are known to have naturally reproducing populations of brook trout that are robust enough to provide fishing opportunities. For more information on Vermont's wild brook trout ponds, see an earlier biologist report entitled Northeast Kingdom Brook Trout Ponds. While most of the small cold water ponds in Vermont probably supported wild brook trout at one time, official stocking and illegal introductions over the last 150 years have led to the establishment of other species like perch, sunfish, suckers, bass, and pickerel in nearly all of these ponds. Wild brook trout remain only in those rare ponds where competing species are not abundant or where state-sponsored chemical reclamation was used to eliminate these species. Large wild brook trout over 15 inches in length are also very rare in Vermont. Of the known wild brook trout ponds in the state, brook trout over 15 inches have been confirmed only at Martin's and Job's ponds, where large brook trout have been consistently captured during fall electrofishing surveys. These fall electrofishing surveys have also demonstrated that, although Job's Pond had been stocked with brook trout for many years, the pond's brook trout population is dominated by wild fish. In fact, all the fish you see here are wild. This discovery has led Vermont Fish and Wildlife Fisheries biologists to consider ending their stocking at Job's Pond to reduce competition with the abundant wild brook trout and to allow the limited and valuable cultured fish to be used in other waters without wild trout populations. Vermont Fish and Wildlife Fisheries staff conducted a creel survey at Job's Pond during the 2012 fishing season to assess the quality of the fishing experience in the absence of stocked brook trout and to estimate the number and sizes of wild brook trout caught and harvested at the pond. Two important pieces of information are collected during a creel survey. The total amount of fishing effort or actual hours spent fishing by anglers, and the average catch rate, or number of fish caught per hour of fishing by each angler surveyed. These two values are multiplied to estimate the total catch for the season. Fishing effort was estimated with trail cameras stationed at the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Access Area. Most catch rate data were collected during on-site interviews. Creel clerks visited the pond nearly every weekend in April, May, June, September, and October, and on approximately half of the weekends in July and August. Clerks timed visits to maximize the likelihood of encountering anglers. Anglers were asked standard creel survey questions, including start and stop time, lines fished, methods used, and numbers and sizes of fish caught. In a total of 92 angler interviews, 53 brook trout were either observed by the creel clerks or reported by anglers. Total effort for the season was estimated at 931 angler hours. This estimate is probably lower than the true amount of effort because anglers that accessed the pond from somewhere other than the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Access Area, such as a pondside camp, were not counted. A total of 144 brook trout were estimated caught for the season and the total estimated harvest was 99. Fishing effort and catch rates varied seasonally. Over 50% of fishing effort occurred in April, May, and June, with only 9% of total effort occurring in September and October. Average catch rate during the busy spring season was 0.22 fish per hour. Put another way, the average angler could expect to catch one brook trout for roughly every four hours of fishing. Interestingly, although catch rate was highest in September and October, the fall was the most lightly fished period. Fisheries biologists consider the catch rates observed in the spring and in the fall to be good. No fish were observed or reported caught in July and August, but this is not surprising. Brook trout prefer cold water, so they are much less active during midsummer when water temperatures rise above their comfort level. During these times, the fish hold near cold spring seeps and feed only sparingly. Anglers caught some large brook trout at Job's Pond during the 2012 fishing season, and all were wild fish. Seven brook trout over 15 inches in length were either observed by creel clerks or reported by anglers. 
In conclusion, the fishing at Job's Pond is good, and stocking at Job's appears to contribute little to the fishing quality. Most of the fishing activity at Job's Pond occurred in the spring, but catch rates were actually better in the fall. Due to higher water temperatures and changing trout behavior, fishing during the warmer summer months is generally not expected to be very productive. Job's Pond offers a very unique angling experience in Vermont, and it will only stay that way as long as no other fish species are introduced that prey on or compete with the wild brook trout. It is illegal in Vermont to move fish from one water to another, and fish are not allowed to be used as bait at Job's Pond. Please do your part to prevent any additional fish species from getting into Job's Pond or any of Vermont's other waters. If you have any questions about this report, please contact Judd Kratzer at the telephone number or email address that you see here.